What is going on everybody? E-Rock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today's video. We're back on the topic of Verhulst. Now, about two months ago, I did a video on his controller settings. And at that time, he was only using default controls. He was using 4-4 Classic. And now, two weeks ago, he came out and said that he's now using ALC settings. And you know what? Now we gotta try those out. So that's what this video is about. So if you enjoy the content, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you feel like it. And the basis of this video is for content purposes, okay? You don't have to just go and copy every pro settings or any settings you see. This is for entertainment purposes. So this may not work for you. It may not work for me. So let's just get that to the point, okay? Don't keep changing your settings around. I'm doing this for fun. I get yelled at a lot sometimes in these videos. So let's take a quick gander here. Now, according to the videos that showcased on his streams and like the clips and everything, he is playing on a two dead zone with a two outer threshold, a three response curve. Um, I don't think they showed us per optics. If he did, I'll make sure to throw them in the video here. His yaw speed is at a 250. The same thing is his pitch speed is at 250 and his turning extra yaw is actually 150. And what's crazy about this is either these, these are the exact ALC settings as far as looking, just the looking part that I'm using. So great minds think alike. And uh, he doesn't use anything else extra in, in that category. And then the final category, just the ADS yaw speed and pitch speed. He uses 130 for both of those and then nothing else. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to try and jump in to some games. Uh, we're going to do this one on stream today. So if you miss out on the streams, twitch.tv slash erock, or if I'm streaming on YouTube, there you go. That's what we're doing this stuff. We're going to try and find, get some games, uh, decent gameplay, whatever. You'll be watching that and then I'll show you, give you my thoughts and opinions at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Crack, uh, Maggie. Perfect nade. Perfect nade. I'm such a genius. Wait a minute. Let me blow the door off. That means Pathfinder's still alive. There he is. Just kidding. Oh. Okay. It's gonna hit him. Come here, bitch. This guy's cracked by himself. I cracked him again right here. Oh, 
I choked. I hate my life. <laughs> oh, that's just oh, great. Shit. I don't know if you can hit that zipline or not. I gave you a zipline. I already backed up. I suck. I almost cracked one to your left. Thirty seconds remain. The ring is nearby. You can take the zip. Okay. Good. Hit level for 120. All right, so thoughts, opinions, and so forth. Um, these settings, I enjoy them very much. Um, the only thing that I did, which was basically what my settings are, is I turned the response curve down to like a, a one. He plays on a three. I think these are probably the best ALC settings that you can start off with at any sort of skill level. It's a perfect amount of movement speed, looking left and right, turning around and everything like that. Um, the dead zone and everything is just based off of what your controller is. And I think the aiming is slightly on the slow end, very slightly. But if you just want like dead straight beams, you got that. When it comes to tracking players, it's a little bit more difficult in my opinion on these settings, but that's just because I'm a, I'm accustomed to a higher sensitivity. These could be absolutely perfect for you. These are my favorite ALC settings so far that I've done on the channel. And uh, it'd be cool if you guys tried it out. And his information is going to be in the description box down below if you haven't heard of Verhulst at this point. If he's a god, okay. That's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in, leaving likes, commenting, subscribing. Maybe somehow he'll see this video and we'll play a pub together or something. That would be cool. But uh, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for everything. And uh, all the links, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, all that stuff is in the description for you as well. Thank you guys for everything. And I'll see whoever is here in the next one.